Hey guys, welcome to Data Tech, your one stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at how one can elevate Llama 2's performance by fine tuning it on a ChatGPT created dataset. In my last video, I have shown a similar version for Falcon model where we fine tuned Falcon on ChatGPT created dataset. In this video, we will look at how one can fine tune Llama 2 on ChatGPT created dataset. And the technique is generic, it can be applied to other tasks as well. In this video, we will cover for a specific task, but depending on your task, you can create a dataset through ChatGPT and fine tune your Llama 2 model. And secondly, the approach can be used for any open source LLMs. Here I have used for Llama 2, previous video I have used for Falcon, but in future also you can use it for uh, any uh, open source LLM. Another advantage is that ChatGPT has huge parameters and Llama 2 bigger models has huge parameters. So what you can do is you can take a smaller parameter, let's say 7 million parameter Llama 2 model and fine tune it on larger models output for your specific task. In that way you can elevate your uh, smaller parameter model, that is 7 million Llama 2 models performance on your specific task by fine tuning it on a larger model uh, output. So let's see how it's done. Uh, before that, I want to thank you for your love and support in my last two videos where I have shown how to fine tune Falcon model on a custom data set and how to fine tune Llama 2 on custom uh, data set. In this video, we will see how to fine tune Llama 2 on a ChatGPT created data set and which is uh, generic for any other specific task uh, you have in mind. And another thing, in this Llama 2's last video, people were saying that loss is not reducing. So, you can see the loss doesn't decrease. I have figured out the reason for that also. In this video, I will uh, cover that as well. So, that you can see beautifully the loss will also reduce. Uh, so, where was the problem that loss was not reducing very efficiently in that video? We'll, that also we will cover. And in my last video, we also saw how to uh, fine tune Falcon on a chat GPT created data set. And this video is all about Llama 2. So, let's get started. Uh, in this notebook, we will fine tune a Llama 2 model on golden standard data set which is created through ChatGPT and uh, I have uh, done this fine tuning in Databricks. I will make this uh, notebook available in the description and also the last videos all the last few videos descript uh, link also in the description section. So first of all we will load the Llama 2 model I have used the base model yeah one more thing in this fine tuning we will use the base model the row base model is uh, pre-trained on next word prediction it's like a gpt model it's not fine-tuned on question answering data set if i would have used the instruct model or the model that has been uh, that the chat version of the model it might have given good results uh, without fine-tuning but here the main thing that i want to show is you the concept how you can take the base model which is just pre-trained on next word prediction and make it uh, fine-tune it to any conversational data and that conversational data you can create through chat gpt so we have uh, First of all, loaded the Llama 2 model and here we have loaded the base model. Next, uh, we use the Instacart data set and from Instacart data set, you can see the link here. We are just using the top 500 product list. So these are the top 500 products. Chocolate sandwich cookies, all season salt, Robert's golden and sweet and long tea and so on. There are 500, the first 500 products we have taken. What we'll do with that, we'll see. And um, Let's check the base model performance before fine tuning and what do I mean by performance I will explain that. One more uh, detail out of the 500 products that I took above let's not use the first 300. Why? Because there the first 300 is where we will fine tune it. I will explain later and let's see the performance on next 7 uh, is keeping the first 300 just 7 because inference is little slow and we want to see the concept here. So these are the first 300 products which we are skipping for now and uh, for the next seven products, I am just creating my prompt first that lists three advantages and three disadvantages of this product. So that is the task. The task on which we will fine tune our Llama 2 model is for each product just give me the three advantages and three disadvantages if it's consumed in more or excess amount. So just give me the three advantages and three disadvantages for each of the product. Now the pre-trained model doesn't understand that after this symbol I am expecting an answer. Right, uh, but let's see what it emits. So before fine tuning, let's see the what the pre-trained base model emits, and these are the products. So uh, I have uh, done the inference, and let's see what it's giving. 
it's giving me a list three advantages and again some link and again list three advantages disadvantages so it's not giving me the output at, as i would have expected three advantages three disadvantages it's give, emitting something because and that's fine also because the model is just pre trained on next word prediction it's doing the next word prediction it's not um, fine tune for conversational or question answer kind of data set and I will just save the mod results so that later we can just compare the results and you will do a very good comparison. You will be able to see what was generated and what the fine tune model generated. Now I will fine tune the data set, uh, fine tune the model on the data set which I created through chat GPT and the prompt I used was list three advantages and three disadvantages of the product when consumed or used. And this is the data set that I have created through chat GPT. You can see it's for the uh, first 300 products. Right, it's a huge data set for the first 300. Yeah, that's it. Now, uh, let me show you the data set that I created. The same thing, but in a in in uh, the editor, you will be able to see in better details. So, for each product, I have advantages one, two, three, disadvantages one, two, three. For chocolate cookies, advantage taste, convenience, versatility, disadvantages high in sugar processed ingredients, lack of nutritional value. Similarly, for all season salt, advantages 1 to 3, disadvantages 1 to 3. For robust, golden, unsweetened, all empty advantages 1 to 3, disadvantages 1 to 3. Right? And uh, so on. Now, uh, we will fine tune the model on this uh, data set that we have created through ChatGPT. Right? But before that, one more thing that I want to cover is uh, for the last video, people were commenting that the loss is not uh, uh, very beautifully decreasing. But in this video, you will see that loss is beautifully decreasing. And the reason for that is this line. This you need to add that tokenizer dot padding site equal to right. Uh, and I have also seen there are some more videos, YouTube videos on Lama 2 in YouTube. And for them also loss is not reducing. This is the reason. Tokenizer dot padding site equal to right. This uh, we should not skip for Lama 2 model and it took me 3 days or 4 days to figure this out but this is the reason. Now next go to where we were that is the fine tuning uh, part right. Yes. So for uh, uh, so first of all I have created uh, this data set we already saw I have transformed it into data set dict that, because that is what Lama 2 expects for uh, fine tuning and uh, Yeah, and then I have uh, loaded the uh, Loda config from Peft library. Uh, Peft has helps in efficient fine tuning of these uh, LLMs, and uh, these are the uh, Loda configs, uh, low rank adapters. So basically, what Loda does is in all these layers of Llama 2, it will add adapters, and that is where the parameters will change, and that is where the learning will happen. And uh, similarly, I have uh, trained it only for 35 steps. You can increase the steps for even better results and uh, I am loading the trainer and then finally calling uh, the uh, uh, train function and also here you can uh, replace it with your weighted biases key I have just commented your key you can uh, use your key here and this notebook will be available I will add it in the link in the description section so trainer.train and you can see beautifully what I was talking about the loss is reducing right Next, what we will do is, uh, we will uh, do the inferencing post fine tuning and the inferencing is done and let's see the results. So product list 3 advantages, 1, 2, 3, advantage scheme, disadvantages, uh, where are the disadvantages, so these are the disadvantages. We will see it in a better uh, interface and similarly what I have done, I have loaded the previous output also, the, the raw one and this is the fine tuned output and that's it we can see post fine tuning the results are aligned let's see the results in a better interface that what was the quality of results before and after so this is the quality difference for llama 2 fine tuned right for this product it was giving me something something but not clearly the advantage disadvantage after fine tuning uh, you can clearly see uh, advantages 1 2 3 disadvantages 1 2 3 done for which is this product gourmet dog treat bonds and uh, here the output is 
anything something which we are not uh, expecting it to be see some links and uh, useless things are here but after the wine tuning advantages nutritional nutritious snack dental health benefits for dogs and strengthen strengthens the gums of dogs disadvantages choking hazard allergic reactions and calcium imbalance similarly for next next set of products here it is emitting anything and after the fine tuning advantage one two three disadvantage one two three and you can see beautifully the format also the one new line is also there list three advantages new line disadvantages one two three so you can see the quality of output is exactly what we wanted it to and in your case if you want even better quality result you can just uh, fine tune it for longer steps and i have told you how you can make the loss gradually reduce so we can see that post fine tuning the results are aligned and exactly what we wanted it to so hope you like the video please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates bye